Hello friends, welcome back to another workout. I am super excited about today's class. It's an hour long, full class head to toe. We're gonna hit a little bit of everything and I'm just in a good mood today. So I hope that rubs off on you a little bit. Hopefully this class is just really fun for all of us. You need a ball. Um, I'm using a few different dumbbells, a pair of fives and a pair of eights. I like variety. You need a booty band. I'm using a medium. <clears throat> you also need a slider. Ooh, something new. If you don't have a slider, if you're on carpet, use a paper plate. And if you're on a hard floor, an old towel or just a slippery pair of socks will work just fine. So go get your stuff. I, we're gonna do a lot of floor work at the beginning. So I'm like double matted here. I got my GXM mat, which is like gym flooring and a yoga mat. So if you're on a carpet surface, it wouldn't hurt you, okay? Get your stuff, meet me back. Let's get it today. Let's start feet wide. I want you to take a deep plie, inhale up. Exhale down, like you like to move. Plie, inhale up, exhale down. Just two more. Getting some energy in the bod today. <sighs> One more, our arms are just gonna float to a ballet second position. Knee lifts, right and left, right, left. <sighs> now we're feeling spread apart in the shoulders, but not stressful yet. Yeah? So like, you're calm. You're already crushing your workout. Flip your palms up. We're just gonna take a little squeeze and across in between. Oh my gosh. My chest is sore. We did a million push-ups in the workout my husband and I did the other morning. Oh! But you're gonna swing your arms. So am I, no matter what. Okay, a few pushes from the chest and we're already down to the floor. We're gonna spend a good amount of time down there, but I think you're gonna love it. Let's do two more, two, one. So I want you to roll down. You can roll down exactly where you are. I just have to turn to the side, walk it out, scoop the belly. Let's march it out here. You know I like that. March. All right, so same idea as when you were standing. Let's go a little faster. Drop. Nice deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Back to high plank position. We're gonna lift the hips up for two, down for two. Take some nice cleansing breaths here. Open the shoulders, stretch through the armpits. Down, one more. And now just an eight count centering hold. This is where it's gonna get fun, so here we go. Without dropping your knees, I want you to come down to your farm. Forearms, hold. Now, I'm gonna rotate towards you. You rotate towards me. Side, forearm plank. Top arm goes up. You can always modify by dropping the bottom knee. Everything's scooped and held. Up an inch, down an inch with the hip squeeze. Little down. So you can always take the top hand here or the bottom knee down to modify, up, down, a little faster, squeeze, squeeze. So we're getting a little core work, a little booty work right off the bat. Don't wanna freak you out here. Top arm, down for two, down, two, up. Really important that we don't sit into the bottom shoulder like this, ew, down for two. So really try to create space in that joint for yourself, a little faster. Try to look at the wall behind you. I'm looking at my kombucha behind me. That might not be the ideal source of hydration today, but we'll see. Two more. Okay, eight pulses. You can do it. Eight, seven. Oh, that's getting tough. Five more. We're gonna lower down to that bottom hip. Two, one, down we go. Knees at 45, grab your ball. It's going under your ribs. Now I'm just gonna grab a five pound weight. It's not much. Lift up and out of that supporting elbow. I want you to glue the top elbow to your top hip. And we're just gonna rotate and close. And you may be like, this is it. Oh, just you wait. Give me a few more slow. Open and close. We're gonna mirror that position with the knee. I'm feeling two more slow. Open. Very, very important. Check yourself that you don't open through the hip and the torso a little faster. Now, I don't know about you guys. Maybe you're superhuman strong in your rotator cuffs. This absolutely destroys me. So probably I'm gonna have to lose the weight completely at some point. Otherwise, we're still going. Make sure you're really pushing your hips forward. That's gonna ensure that you don't open the top of the pelvis. Little press and hold, hold, little down. So the knee and the weight are perfectly mirrored. A few more. Make sure we're not sitting into the ball or the shoulder. Pressing up, feel like a beautiful 
mermaid on a rock. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six. So my top glute, she's fine, but my rotator cuff is dying. Down for two again. Down, two, up. Second time is way worse. So I'm gonna show you how to modify that. If your shoulder, the back of your shoulder is crying, like mine is, you can do a few reps with the no weight at all. A little faster, down and up. Down, once you're like, okay, I can handle it. Pick up that weight again. Oh, I think it's hard though, super hard. Four, <clears throat> three, lift out of that ball. Two, long neck. All right, eight pulses, and we're changing positions. Eight, seven, six, five. Oh, my arm is so low. Three, two, one, and release. Remove your ball. Now, I'm gonna turn and face this way. Keep the same weight in the hand that you had it. You're gonna go to hands and knees, extend your opposite toe. Leave it on the floor. Sweep the arm all the way behind you, little bend and press for the tricep. Press, bend. Now, if you have wrist problems, your bottom wrist, you can go on a fist, or you can hold your other dumbbell, <coughs> if that's better. A little bit. Press. Okay, so we're just getting everything lined up here. Shoulders down. Abs in, up and away from your leggings. Good. Keep your arms straight. Little lift and lower lift to the floor. Now we're going to add the leg lift here. Make sure you're not losing anything through your low abs or your spine. Lift. Good. Okay, so a lot of our workout today, because we're going for a full hour, we're not cutting any corners, okay? So that means lots of good reps in the bank. Little pulse, eight, seven. Lengthen your neck, drop your shoulders. All right, we're back to that bend and press, and I want you to flex your foot and then push it out. Be aware that nothing gets weird through this midsection. Really commit to holding it steady. If your wrist is bugging, you come up to a fist position. It's actually a lot harder for balance. A little faster, a little tighter. Eight, seven, six. Fine, now guess what? We get to do this tricep set again. Two, one, but we're gonna stand up first. So your back leg becomes a little front lunge. Tuck your back toe and resume your hinge. Let's go with a straight arm pullback. Same arm, okay? That's on purpose, because I love doing things twice. Not everything, you know? Not maybe like my marriage. <laughs> That's a terrible example, I'm sorry. That's happened to you, it's fine. Lift and lower. Bad analogies up in here. Okay, keep that pulse. Here we go, a little press. Just meaning by the second time, it's like you're really into it, you know? Point your back toe, let's lift it. Little bend and press. Bend, press. Now you can leave the back leg alone, but I just wanna add a little mental stimulation for you. Four more, four. I'm driving out through my foot and the weight. Okay, it's gonna get smaller, a little tighter. Can we do 16, 15, 14, holy heck. Ooh, you got it. Zone out on something on the floor in front of you. Eight, seven, come on. Five more, we're gonna grab that other weight. Three, two, one. Ooh, roll that shoulder back, get your other weight. Get a little light set of shoulders here for you. Okay, parallel feet, lateral race, nice and easy. Now my left arm feels pretty different than my right arm. Sorry, I still have the coughs, man. And I've heard from a lot of you, someone was in Canada and they're like, I still have the same, same thing you have. Isn't it weird how seasonal stuff just gets you? Okay, we're going to one and a half reps. So it looks like this, we're going all the way up, halfway down, all the way up, all the way down. Up, half, squeeze, drop. So what this does, takes out any momentum. Be sure you're not lifting too high or with the traps, one more. Oh, squeeze. We're relaxed, we're strong. Okay, front raises next. Just fly it out, and down. If you're really fatiguing here, just take a second to alternate for a second. Gain your, you know, shoulders back, and then rejoin with both arms up and down. Same exact thing, all the way up, halfway down. Up, half, up. All the way down, be sure. Whew, we gotta catch that beat. That you're not going too high. Like I wouldn't even go full 90. Oh, I'm burning. Lift, halfway down, all the way down. Now you're like, Joanna, we didn't do the other side of the stuff on the floor. Don't worry, we're in a retrograde. Back to the floor, reversing everything to hit a fancy set of abs. Look at us, 
Okay, back to the side, side, back to the front. Good, side, and front. I'm just here to bring you out, give you a great workout. Try not to give me anything crazy for your body. Yes. Yeah, less is more. Make it a little smaller if you need to. Four, three, find those deltoids. Two, one, and you're done. Now, your triceps are gonna feel a little off kilter, but we're going overhead. Elbows tight, ribs in, to your press, and drop. Actually, they don't feel too bad. That one has had a chance to recover. <sighs> Heavy tailbone. So I struggle with doing this. Maybe you too. Pull it in. <coughs> Take it up and down. My lungs, man. Whenever I get anything, it goes into the lungs. Drop down and hold. <sighs> Just stay. You can walk around, do a little dance. Isometric, hold. Up an inch, down an inch. A little lift, a little lower. The key here is not to shrug your shoulders. Everything's fine. A little faster, 16, and we're done. Nice and calm. Look at something beautiful in your house. Eight more, a space that makes you happy. This is my space, it makes me happy. Four, three, two, one. So you get to ditch one of your weights. Set it down. We're gonna go to our last exercise of this whole set. We're starting with that. <coughs> so sorry. So arabesque, we're down. We're starting with the sweep, straight arm behind you. Sweep and down. Now don't be deceived. You're gonna be super fresh for this and you're gonna be like, oh, this feels way easier than it did that other side. Yeah, that's because we're fresh. So enjoy it, attack it. Good. Hold on. I got too aggressive and I got off my beat. Oh, I'm feeling so fresh that I'm gonna have you do four more. Three, try not to swing it. That's cheating. All right, up we go, a little tiny pulse. Squeeze, squeeze. This is where I'm gonna launch myself forward, lift my back foot, little bend and press, bend, press. Oh, this is dangerous. My rig is right here so I can hold it. Don't hold it. Four more, four. We're trying to get the balance out of that supporting leg. Two, remember you can leave out the bend and stretch in the back leg if you want. Double time, we did 16 on that other side. And all of a sudden, I am super fatiguing. 10, nine, you can do it. Abs in, neck long. Six, five, keep it small. Four, three, two, one. Ah. So drop the back leg. This front leg is gonna become the back leg. Again, was that confusing? So if you were standing on your right leg, it will be behind you and vice versa. Fist or hand, abs in and up. Here we go, back to the sweep. Sweep, drop. Oh, second side, baby. So it's tempting to relax here in the spine. Don't do it. Exhale, lift, lower. All right, hold it up, little pulses. I'm looking at my bad set of nails here. I glue on the press on, like glue cheapo nails. All right, lift and lower the back leg. Lift, lower, and like three of them are popped off. It's pretty tacky. Lift, lower, lift. All right, what did I do wrong here? What are we missing? Let's do eight more pulses. I can hardly lift this dumbbell. Here we go. Eight, seven. Oh, we gotta go to bend and press. I hope your tricep is as tired as mine. Bend and press, bend, press. Here's an option. If you just can't do good form, release the weight just so you can stay up with the video. You're still contracting that muscle, but you're reducing the load. Okay, double time. A little smaller, just eight. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, that was hard for me. Come all the way down, get your ball. We're back to this little shenanigan. <coughs> Knees at 45, get your weight, <coughs> glue it to your rib. Open for two, out, and down. Now make sure you're not doing like this crazy wrist thing at the top. So check out the alignment with your wrist and your hand to that form. When you're ready, add the top knee. Oh, where's my music? Down, two, open. Ooh, this is a good idea. We should talk about volume of music. Do you have any feedback on things that I could do better for like audio? video quality 
I don't have like a lot of fancy stuff, but I want it to be ideal. So let me know if you want music to be louder, softer, something else. I don't know. You just want me to look better, a little faster, up, down. I will try to accommodate that. Lift, lower. So check in for the bottom shoulder. Ooh, I'm already really burning. You can always do a few reps without a weight. The truth is, we're all weak behind there. Lift and hold, squeeze. If you haven't already checked, please check that you're not opening this. You'll feel like this isn't even hard because you're not resisting gravity. Being against gravity like this at this angle, so it makes it so, so, so hard. Little pulses, eight, seven. Squeeze your hips forward. Squeeze your tush. Four, three. Ooh, I'm burning back there, down for two. Down, two, up, two, down. How you doing? Good, keep going, down for two. And enough, <coughs> down. Okay, we're almost there. Let's single it out. Down, up, down, up. Eight pulses, that's all I can do. To be honest, eight, seven, holy heck, six, five, four, three, two, one. So set your weight to the side, move your ball. We're back to the side plank. Remember this, up we go. Top arm high, squeeze the hips, up an inch, down an inch, lots of control. Time for this bottom shoulder to shine. <sighs> Little faster, squeeze. Shake out your neck. <coughs> Take a nice deep breath. Down for two with the top arm. Down. Two. Up. Two. Down. So I gotta get my head back into the ab game. Same for you. We're bringing our focus to the core. A little faster. Down. My upper body's pretty toasted though. Good. Let's do four more. It's just so fun. Four. Three. Now, right when you feel like you want to drop your knee, don't do it. Okay, we're going to choose victory today. Eight little pulses. Eight, seven. Try to make it look easy. Five, four, three, two, one. And drop it down. <coughs> so, we are going to grab our ball. Actually, you don't need your ball for this. It's optional. You might need it for one part. So, come down. We're going to hit some abs here. Let's start with feet flat, hands behind the head. Little crunches to start. This is just to get your brain into your abs. I know there are far superior um, exercises to crunches, but a good crunch gets my head in the game, you know? A few more. Exhale. Exhale. Good. I'm feeling it. I like it. A few little pulses at the top, give me eight. You're gonna lift your legs to tabletop, and there they shall stay. Arms reach forward, little Pilates set 100. Take an inhale and exhale. Flatten, exhale. If you're feeling advanced today, you can stretch your legs out. Exhale, take an inhale, exhale. A few more sets, I'm liking it. Really pat the floor like you're, you're meaning it. If you're feeling aggressive today. Okay, quick single leg pull and hold. Pull and switch. Pull and switch. If you need a rest, head can come down for a second. Get back up there. Here we go, a little faster, switch. Getting those legs moving a little bit. Hands behind the head, same tempo. Eight. All right, really exhaling deeply, like you're wringing out the waistline. Twist and hold. Exhale, twist, hold. Exhale, twist, hold. Exhale, twist, hold. Twist, hold. Let's do two more. Okay, we have 16 double time and then we rest. So don't poop out on me, yeah? 14, 12, whoo. Finally, let's twist. Good, you got it. Relax your neck. Four, last two, one, rest. Okay, it's not really rest though. This is where your ball is optional. You can just lift your leg to tabletop or you can take the ball underneath that leg. It's gonna give your foot something to rest against. We're gonna crunch up to that knee. Exhale. <coughs> Curl. <coughs> All right, crunch to the knee, lift, lower. So if your ball is not there, you might feel a little more hip flexor. If the ball is there, you can play with where 
You bring your thigh, if you leg it further away or closer in, little pulses, squeeze. Now we're gonna pretty much maintain the upper body. We're gonna be working with this free leg down here. So lift it up a little bit, lift the leg, set it down. Upper body is just held. Relax your head back a little faster. Lift. So I'm really deepening through the abs. Good. Leave it in this time, bring it in, and then we're gonna stretch it out long. Exhale. Stretch it out long. Same thing, a little faster. Bring it in. And you're welcome to take a little curl here to that free knee. We did a kind of a similar set like quite a few videos ago. There's a lot of fun things you can do here with this single leg stuff. Two more. Now we're gonna try to keep the leg long back to crunch. Lift, lower. So I have to be careful. I definitely lose my midline here. So I'm gonna bend that long leg to modify a little bit. Try my best to pull it in. Elbows wide, eight little pulses and we're done. So we're switching sides. Seven, six, maybe you're all the way down here and you can maintain it. That'd be awesome. Three, two, one. Woo! Switch legs. <coughs> Here we go. So just a few crunches, really relax your neck. This is when my neck wants to take over. So I'm gonna do like this really lame looking crunch. So I can focus on the right muscles. Do it right, do it better every time. Okay, those little pulsing crunches, eight. You know those little uh, machines they sell that are supposed to like work out your abs for you? Hold, lift the free leg. Set it back down. That's always what I picture when I'm doing like little pulses. You know, it's like get six pack abs without ever doing a single crunch. Yeah, that's obviously a gimmick, but I picture something contracting my abs. A little faster with that free leg. Lift, point. So don't set your foot all the way down. Maybe just a ginger toe tap is a trick. Knee comes in and out, in and out. Nice, so this is where you can add that little bit of a crunch there if you want. And out, in, out. Oh, I'm burning already. Leave the leg long, just crunch the knee up, down. Leave the leg long and low as much as you can. If you didn't split with kids, then what are you doing? Just go crazy. Keep that leg long and low. If it's pulling so much that your back arches, you gotta bring it up. Little pulses, eight, seven, six. Picture that six pack ab machine, three, two, one, and we are done. Let's keep moving. Move your ball out of, way, out of the way, flip it over, a little stretch. We gotta get into our legs now. We're not gonna skip a beat. So I want you to tuck your toes. Give me a little down dog. Stretch it out. Walk it in. Grab some water or kombucha. I just feel like it's gonna make me burp. But it's so good. I like the guava goddess kind. It's not sponsored, okay, but I like it. I'm gonna move my extra mat out of the way because we're gonna be sliding around a little bit. So let's get her out of here. Whew. Okay, so we're not quite done with the arms yet. This is where I'm gonna go to a heavier weight. Just one dumbbell is all you need for this. We're gonna start a little grand plie set here with the legs and we're gonna work a little biceps with the arms at the same time. So make sure you can hold onto your bar or your counter or whatever you're working with. Let's just start with a two count bicep curl. Just nice and tall through the spine, just to establish where exactly you're curling. Add the ground plie. By where you're curling, I mean, you're not, don't go too far to the side where you're going off kilter. A little faster, exhale, curl. So we are trying to stay upright for this, completely up and down. It got so dark outside. I swear, every time I film, there's like some weird fluke in the weather. And I'm like, okay, what's happening out there? Everything good? A few more. So we're gonna kind of bounce back and forth from distracting you with a bicep and then distracting you with the legs. So hold at 90, few little pulses for both. Everything's fine. Now, a little isometric hold for the bicep, focus on the legs, down for three, down. And I am getting out of 180 degree turnout these days. Um, just giving myself a little grace. So if that's you too, bring your toes in a little bit. We want happy, healthy hips. Okay, slow it down. I want you to add a little bicep curl. Release. And you're getting as low as you can. Absolutely as low as you can through those legs. Even if it's kind of uncomfortable. It's hard to push yourself at home, but do it. Let's do it together. Okay, a little faster. 
seven. Now we're gonna kind of reverse those two. So isometric hold through the legs, stay low, just the curl, all the way up, halfway down, all the way up, halfway down. Don't twist through the shoulders, all the way down, halfway up, down, halfway. And I never see anyone go all the way straight, and that's what I want you to do. Like check yourself, straighten, lift. Okay, take the moment to do that. That gets that bicep tendon insertion. It's real good, full range, all the way up, all the way down. See if you can get a little lower through the legs. Of course you can. Curl on your legs, gotta find that new beat and that new song, always, always. Okay, full range, add the legs, eggs, eggs. Add the eggs to the situation. That always makes things interesting. Do you remember when people used to egg people's houses? Can you imagine if that happened these days? Plus eggs are so expensive, no one would dare. Two more, two, woo! Okay, little pulses, let's finish it out. 16, 15. Try not to wedge your elbow into your waistline. I know, I'm tempted to do it too. Eight more, eight, a little lower. Come on, get down there. Five, four, we're sucking it into a parallel semi-plie. So bring it in, legs together, all the way up, semi-plie. Stretch over those arches. Weight is at the chest. If you can balance, great. If not, that's fine too. I'll probably go in and out of it. Down an inch, up an inch. Now, I wanna show a few different ways as you're finding your balance and your focus. You can just think about keeping your ankles glued together. See how my knees are slightly apart? Totally fine if that's a little more comfortable for you. Down for two, down, two, up an inch and stay. Or you can keep your knees glued together. You will get a little more inner thigh. Every blue moon I have a client who's like, I don't like that on my knees. So listen to your body. Okay, a little faster. Back to that original tempo. Now, go back and forth between taking the hand off your bar and putting it back on. There's pros and cons to both. Oh, my legs are burning. Yes. All right, little triplet. We're just gonna hit a bunch of tempos down. Two, three. Down, two, three. And try not to stand up and shake it out because you lose all the burn that you just worked for. Even if it's like, oh my gosh, all I need is a quick shake out. Don't do it. Okay. Drop and hold, stay. Don't lift, just go down a little lower. Drop and stay. Watch that your booty isn't popping out. Even if it feels like you're not going any lower, maybe it's time to change position to open the knees a little bit. <sighs> All right, let's work that pelvis a little bit. Under, release. Hard with the balance. Ooh! <coughs> Under, release. Do you ever feel like you're just like, when you do these in bar class, I'm like, whoa! There goes the pelvis, a little faster. Oh, sorry guys, I just broke form. I told you not to come out, and I just came out. Down for two, up for two, down. Two, up, two, you can do it. Down, two, up. Try to keep that pelvis moving, under, under, up. One more set, under, up. Good, back to that little pulse. I'm just gonna open my knees for a little variety. Everyone, try to balance gonna take me a second. Good, get as low as you can, find all eight pulses. Eight, seven, dig in there. Five more, your best. Four, three, two, one, and stand up. Okay, I felt that. Switch your weight to your other hand. Down we go, grand plie. This feels slower than last time. Maybe not, we need it slow. Okay, so second side ideolo ideology again. There's perks to it, a little faster. Rather than being like, oh crap, I have to do this again? You're like, this is gonna be better. I'm gonna get it a little deeper. My hips are already warm. I'm gonna attack this second side with fervor. All right, little pulses. <sighs> Chest is open, everything is good. Hold the weight, little triplet with the hips down. Two, three. Yep, I just burped, because that fizzy kombucha. Okay, so when I was dancing with Nevada Ballet Theater, nope, North Carolina Dance Theater, I think it's Charlotte Ballet now, that's how old I am. <coughs> we were on a little tour. Sorry, can I tell the story at the same time? I'm not sure. 
down, up. What are we doing? I know what we're doing. Isometric holding the hips, all the way up halfway down with the bicep. Anyway, we're on a little tour, and this is North Carolina, you know. We're touring with this like bluegrass band, and we're at a hotel, and they, they were like, you guys should come over and have some of our homemade kombucha. They were like making it in a cooler, all the way down halfway up. Now that I'm telling that story, it sounds really sketchy, but they were really nice, great people. <coughs> A few more. Anyway, I always think of that. I'm like, should I make my own kombucha and grow really long hair? Little pulses. They also taught us how to weave baskets from like little reeds by the pond of the hotel we were staying at. I'm not lying. Grand plie, stretch. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I'm gonna, I was gonna apologize for telling weird stories, but you guys tell me that you like that, it distracts you. So, it distracts me too. That's why I'm talking. A few more, four, three. We're gonna settle down there. Two, one, stay. Little plies, down, down. Six more. Now, we're gonna take a little stretch. Two, one, and finish. I just wanted to even you out bicep wise. So shake your arms out. We'll take a quick stretch through for the quads. We're gonna go right away into some booty work and <coughs> I'm gonna grab my bench and use it for our bridge series. Whatever you have at home, when I do bar videos at home, I do bridges like this on the, the ottoman of my couch. I think that works great. You can use a kitchen chair. I'm just making you aware that you're gonna need that piece of equipment. Okay, so we're moving on to booty a little bit. Grab your band. We're going around the knees, right above the knees, around the legs above the knees, you know, something like that. Grab your bar, pick a leg, any leg. So I want you to soften your supporting leg. I'm gonna do this facing you so it makes sense first. So I'm gonna pick up my left leg. Well, it's the one that's mirroring you. We're gonna open for two and close for two. And less is way more for this. I'm pushing my hips forward, squeezing my butt as I open. Little bit of rotation and lateral movement all at the same time, a little faster. Now, depending on how strong your band is, it's gonna wanna pull your supporting knee to the side. No, no. So your supporting leg is active. You're gonna feel both sides of your butt. Probably the working side more, but don't be alarmed if you feel that supporting side. Three pulses, three, two, one, and in. Check your abs the whole time. So I'm gonna turn just a little bit on the diagonal so I can grab the bar more comfortably. And it might help you to see this. Um, as I fatigue, my butt starts to open a little bit and I almost want to feel like I'm in a little bit of a, a hinge, like a modern hinge. And that helps me keep the tailbone long, the low back really held. All right, just hold it out, just pulse. Now the whole time you're trying to break this band in half. Like, give it some gumption. Eight, seven, six, five. Okay, we're gonna do like a little baby round de jambe. You're gonna turn out and open and rotate back to the side. This kills. Two more slow. I'm not going all the way back. I'm ending up, so wrap back and hold, like a really bad attitude. Lift and lower, lift, lower, lift. Lower, again, try to tuck those hips under. So from straight on, we were here, now we're wrapped out to the back a little bit. Kind of side di diagonal, excuse me. If you're a dancer, you might feel more comfortable turning out the bottom foot so that both thighs are in a little bit of external rotation. Same variations, three pulses, three, two, one. My butt is on fire. Three, two, one. It's so much harder to like teach in demo than when you just teach. Right now I'd be like, come on you guys, work harder. What are you doing? But when I have to do it myself, it's a different story. Just pulse, open. <coughs> Keep going. No, I have to do it myself too. 10, nine, eight more. Final position with the band and then it's coming up. We're gonna use that slider. Four, three, two, one. So I want you to lean over, whatever you're using. Lean over, find that same kind of attitude position. So. The difference is the pitch of the body. Little bit of turn out here. And we're gonna do a smaller range of motion. Lift, lower, lift, lower. <sighs> ah, my cheeks are trembling, squeeze. It's not super impressive. I want your back to still be in the same integrity. You've just hinged 
over. So if that bothers your low back, come back up. If you like it, you can really dip over. Three pulses again. Three, two, one. Just drop a little bit. Three, two, one. Super long through the crown of the head and then lift the abs away from the leggings or whatever you're wearing. All right, just pulse. Do you guys wear questionable things when you work out at home? I used to do that all the time, like really inappropriate things or like a bathrobe and a bra and some socks. I, I mean, obviously bottoms of some kind, but just questionable things. Three, two, one, and you're done. Huh. Okay, so band comes off. Now your working leg, the one that was lifting, that's gonna become your supporting leg. So your leg that was standing is gonna go to the slider, grab onto whatever you have, and you're gonna slide that leg back, back, and then pull it in. Oh, that didn't work at all. Back. I lost my slider. Oh, she's sticking. Back. Two. And well, I guess I'm gonna demonstrate on how to do it without a slider. Bummer. Keep going. Down. Two. In. Oh, it's like glued there. What the heck? Keep going. Out. For two. In. <coughs> the point of this is to be able to glide and pull away from your surface a little bit. I'll just pretend. A little faster all the way out, halfway in. Squeeze. Out, halfway in. I guess this is a good way to demo that you don't really need it, but it's just great if you have a little slidey surface there. So much smoother. Two more. Two. Now you're gonna keep the foot out, little accent out, press, press. Now this is where I will say, if I could crawl through the camera right now and grab your foot, I would pull it out from under you. So your hips, are way back and you're pulsing. Four, three, come all the way up. Same thing, but we're gonna cross over, come back through. I'm just real perturbed about that slider. Take it over. Two, so the trick here is to really stick your tush out, stretch the medial glute, a little faster. All the way out, halfway in. Yeah, that's no, not working, huh? All the way out, halfway in. Pull your hips back, even though you're crossing, so from this angle, see how my hips are still going backward? Back, 16 pulses and we're done. 16, 15. Again, I have entered your house and I'm pulling your leg lower, farther behind you. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five. You can do it. Four, all, three, two, one, and come in. Okay, get your chair, find whatever you need. Just come down to the floor. All you need, you can put your feet against the wall too if you don't have anything. Um, I love heels on something. You're gonna get such good hamstring engagement. Abs flat, curl up for two, up and down. And I really want you to self-restrict, okay? I know you can get your hips up, but that's gonna get your lower back lit up. So picture it's just in your pelvis, lower. So maybe a good cue is leaving your lower ribs on the floor keeping that contact. Stay slow, I want you to pull your heels down towards your butt. If they weren't engaged, they will be now. Two more slow. Slow is good in this position. That's what she said. Up for two. Okay, I want you to push up and stay. Drive your heels down, pull them down. Pull, pull, pull. Okay, up an inch, down. You are not driving with your hips. You are initiating the movement from your heels. It's gonna make a huge difference. It's gonna keep some pressure out of the back. Now check in with the backs of your shoulders. Are you like this? Can you drop them, relax them into the mat? A little faster, eight. All right, you ready to go single leg? I'm so ready. Okay, so stay up, hold. Bring your heels together. Whatever leg, the cheek is most tired. You're gonna leave that one down. Point the other toe up to the ceiling. Up an inch, down an inch, right here. Up, down. So for reference, my right leg was the lifting one. My right leg was the supporting leg as I was pulling away from it. And now my right leg is the supporter. Lift, lower, two more, two, good. Hold there, free leg is gonna drop down. Lift it up. Oh my gosh, down. Try to keep your hips off the floor. Mine are not high at all. A little faster. Lift, little down, little up. Try not to like karate chop your, your foot to your face. A few more, four, 
three. You want gravity to do its job. Two more. Poi toe points straight to the ceiling. Eight pulses and we're done. Eight, seven, six, five. Tight, controlled, precise. Two, one, release. Oh. And it should feel pretty tight in that hamstring, so give it a second. A little stretch is fine. Oh man. So we're gonna stand up, do the other side. I'm giving you a second here to stretch. This leg is shot. I'm so happy about it. Love that feeling. Love it so much. Okay, so second side, I'm not even gonna use the slider. Screw that. So I'm gonna grab my band. <coughs> you ready? Here we go. Second side is always harder, so that's fun. Here we go. Heavy tailbone, soft supporting leg. Make sure you're doing the other side. <sighs> Open for two. Open and close. Oh, close. Everything's fine. Open. Close. I'm already trying to do this, even though I know not to. <sighs> Open. Close. A little faster. It helps me. I just felt this. It helps me to reset and think like tucked butt a little bit and then go against it. It's really hard to start here and then bring it under. Three pulses to the side. Three, two, one. So I know you feel it too. Your supporting leg is already tired. We're just gonna fight through it. Mm, try to relax it. Just pulse it to the side. Ow, ow. Okay, oh, it's snowing now. Where am I? Crazy, eight more. Try to break the band. Six, five, heavy tailbone. Everything's good. We're in a round de jam. Around for two, around. Open. We are not hinging yet, so keep your chest up, right? Oh, I'm thinking external rotation, wrap. Like clamp your cheeks together. Hold it. You can turn out your sporting leg if you want. Lift and lower, lift. So if I go straight behind me, I don't know, I don't hate that. But I do find my glutes a little better just off to the side slightly. Do what feels right for your body. Three pulses. Three, two, one. Bring it down. One. I don't know what this hand is doing. It just needs to be free. One, two, three, down. Ah, little pulses. Here we go. Tight butts. Pretty sculpted glutes, that's what we're after. No back pain, you know? Your, your glutes are a big part of your core, so strong and healthy core. Five, four, come on, get that band. Two, one, we're going over. So rearrange if you need to, I need to. Hinge, leg back up, up an inch, down an inch. If you have a band that's really light and it rolls, do take the second to make sure it's flat again and move less. Sometimes those really thin ones, they just roll up your legs, so frustrating. Ooh, four. Okay, so both sides of your cheeks should be absolutely on fire. We're just gonna practice our mental strength. Three pulses, three, two, one, a little down. We gotta get back on our beat, I'm sorry guys. Three, two, one, two more. Three, two, one. I'm so ready to land this floor and wrap this workout. Up, but we're not there yet. Little pulses, 16, 15, 14, 13. Oh my gosh, why are we doing 16, Joanna? Eight more, eight, seven, come on. Don't shy away from it, get across that four. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, the drama. Okay, take your band off. That was like a little crazy of a reaction on my part, but my butt is feeling it, okay? Get your slider, I'm not gonna get mine. So I was working my left leg, I'm gonna now stand on it. Imaginary invisible slider to your foot, away, and towards. I'm gonna yell out a bunch of cues that potentially could help you. If you are too far away from the bar, you will have nowhere to go, and your knee will overextend over your toes, and you'll hate everything about this exercise. Stand close to your surface, Drive your hips back like someone truly pulled your foot or your hip bones, like grabbed your hips and pulled them back. All the way out, halfway in. When I am truly doing a workout like this, at home I use my kitchen sink 
because it's sturdy. You don't want to be moving furniture around your house by accident. Two more. One. Little pulse says you got 16. Your job is to try to straighten your arms. Yes, straighten your arms. Surrender to that pull back. Deeper. Eight, seven, six, five. Find your supporting leg cheek. Three, two, bring it up, cross it over. All right. Up. So play with like not cueing any other muscle except for that hip. Squeeze it. Does that make sense? Like initiate the movement with the hip and then initiate the draw in and through. One more slow. Cross it out and around. A little faster. Cross in. So if I'm showing it from the side, it's kind of like a curtsy lunge with a straight back leg. Four. Sorry, if this one's a little smaller. Don't pull it in on the way. Two more. Oh, little pulse is 16 and we're done. We get to lay on the floor after this. Try to straighten your arms. Cross the leg. Get deep. 10, 9, 8, 7. You can do it. Four more. Four. Three, two, one, and collapse dramatically to the floor. <coughs> we did it. We gotta do our other side of hamstring. It goes into one more set of abs, and then we're stretching, okay? Almost there. This has been fun, hasn't it? Yes, yes. So let's get those feet on there. Finish off that other side. Take a second, take a nice deep breath, drop your shoulders back. Again, a double foot, roll up for two, and down for two. We'll just do a few here to get in the zone. Let's speed it up already. Lift, lower. Don't throw this away. Remind yourself you're pulling your heels to your butt. Good, little pulses. Eight, seven, six. We're gonna go right away, finish off that hamstring. So zip your heels and your knees together. Other leg is driving down. Up and down, a little up, down an inch, up an inch. So this is where, if your leg is here, it's actually gonna be a lot easier because gravity is not fighting against that resistance of this single foot. A little faster, press, press. Woo, feels good to finish off a good set though. I love this feeling. Like this is the end of our leg work. We're kind of headed to the cool down. I just love that feeling. Keep the hips high, drop the top leg for two and lift for two. If you're doing this against the wall, you might run into the wall, but that's just a nice little limitation. A little faster, down. Up. Keep your hips up, even if it's just an inch or two. Four more. Scoop through your lower abs, drop the shoulders to the mat. Two more. Toes to the ceiling, little pulses right here. Eight, seven, six. Good, few more. Two, one, and release, good. Stretch out the hamstring just for a second. We'll hit it in our final stretch too, but I want you to scoop back enough where you can just put your feet casually on top of whatever you're using here. Okay, it should feel nice, like you're putting up your feet, putting your feet up after a long day. Hands behind the head. We're gonna do another little crunch series. Curl up for two and down for two. Curl. Now we're gonna use our legs here, so feel free to bend the knee if you're getting too much quad or too much hip flexor. I want you to open, I'm gonna do my left arm and my right leg. I'm gonna cross and twist using the inner thigh and open out. Now my bench is at a good length where I can really kind of open a little farther away from the midline and it's really challenging for my core. <coughs> you might wanna do that or you might wanna set it straight back down. Really use the control, exhale. Okay, a little faster. Try not to get too hectic. All the way over, open. I would like the back of your hand to touch the floor every time and your heel to touch your surface, whatever you're using as well. Two more. We're gonna hold it over little squeezes. Eight, seven. Try to intersect your elbow with your knee. That's your goal. Same thing, a little slower. Four, down, three, Good, we're gonna reach and hold this straight leg. Zero into it, little scissor time, pull and hold. Switch, pull and hold. So you might kind of tap the top of your chair every time, a little faster. Switch, switch. It's just a good way to center everything out. One more phrase and we'll switch sides. Oh, I'm feeling those hamstrings. Five, 
four, three, good. Take a second just to stretch. Hands back behind the head. Now, again, like we talked about in the beginning, this is where the neck wants to take over. So less is more. I feel like your head is a heavy bowling ball. You're really holding it with your hands a little faster. My feet are just relaxed. <coughs> Try to get <coughs> into the abs. Guys, I'm so sorry about the coughing. You know when they just linger? I think I said that already, but I just feel like I need to make excuses. Right arm, left leg, here we go. Over. Exhale, over. Open. Exhale, over. Try to feel like your limbs are really heavy. And you have to sink into your center to lift them. A few more slow. Open. Center. Open. Center a little faster. Tap. Cross. Tap. Cross. Hold your head. Relax your neck. Four more. I'm feeling my inner thigh a lot on this side. Three. Try to get the hand to the floor every time. Little pulses right here. Eight. Seven. Try to whittle into that oblique. Same little pulse and cross. A little slower for four. Three. Good. One really quick set of scissors to center us off here. Just eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Leave your legs up there. Hands behind the hips. Let's just finish with some little reverse curls. However you want to do these. If you want to try them at tabletop, those are actually pretty dang hard. You could do them legs all the way straight or a three-quarter bend. Okay, we have 32 double time just to finish this off. Close your eyes. Less momentum. Lots of deepening through that lower back and those lower abs. <clears throat> and that was halfway there. Give me 16 more. 16. Change your leg position. to try to get those quads and hip flexors off. Oh, I'm feeling the low abs. I need like a million of these. Four, three, two, one. And hug your knees to your chest. Awesome job, great class today. Thank you so much if you stayed the whole time. We're gonna just stay here for your stretch. So make sure your band is close by. We're gonna use that. Take a nice deep breath. So let's start by crossing one leg over the other. We're gonna reach through, grab the opposite feet. It's really important that you lift them up and then try to pull them in to your body. This gets places of your hips you didn't even know existed. Good, breathe into that. Either stay there or you can rearrange that to be a figure four. That feels better for you. One more phrase here to stretch into the glutes and the hips your choice. So make sure you have your band. I'm going to set the free leg back on my bench. You can set it on your chair or whatever you're using. Take the band around the other foot and let's stretch into that side. I love having the other leg up. It just feels really nice. Like you're putting your feet up after a long day. Let's take a little bend and a little stretch in that top leg. And this can be at your own pace. I just like a little bend to get blood flow back to that muscle group. And then we'll stay for a nice long static stretch. So close your eyes. I want you to feel your whole back and your whole pelvis against the floor. My quad is shaking a little bit. That's a little normal. Good. We're gonna switch sides before we finish with our quads. So go ahead and cross the other leg over. Reach through, grab the feet, pull it up and in. Settle into that stretch. The more you're able to relax your feet and your hips, like relax everything except for your upper body, the deeper you're gonna feel this stretch. Of course, you can go to a figure four if you prefer. And then we'll get into position for that other side hamstring with the band. Hook it on the foot. Up we go. You have three bending presses to take at your own pace. I like the bend and press because sometimes it feels like my wires get crossed in my hamstring. My hamstrings are always my tightest. My whole life I've kind of felt like I had to fight them a little bit. 
they take a lot longer to warm up and loosen up. So sometimes I feel like there's just one off and it's like, zing! <laughs> so anytime I can kind of um, go for more of an active stretch, they're a little happier. <sighs> Time to sit in this one, so close your eyes, relax your face. <sighs> Try to breathe through the shakes. If, your if your whole body's feeling like a little tingly, a little shaking, that's, I don't know, that's like the ideal bar finish. I don't know, that's why I always feel like when I walk out of a bar class, like a good one, I'm like, whoa, I can hardly walk and like putting my keys in my car, my hand is shaking. It's just a good way to fatigue, strengthen, work the body. I love it. Good, so we're gonna release through that band, rock and roll up to a seated position. It doesn't matter which leg you do first. Very simple quad stretch, just to open up the fronts of those legs. I'm not gonna do any twisting for the hip flexor, so go right down to the elbows if you can. I see this a lot from people, that doesn't count. So I'd rather you come up higher, really push your knee down and squeeze your butt. Like I already feel a stretch there, it's so good. And I feel like I get my wires crossed a little bit in the front too, but in a different way. Almost like all the fibers are like gnarly old men and they're like, no. So you have to breathe and you're like, it's okay, relax, relax. And then they just sort of lengthen out. You can ease into a deeper stretch here if you want. We have another phrase here. Settle in. Talk nicely to the little old men in your quad who are grumpy today. <laughs> Good, roll up and we'll just switch sides. Whee! All the way down. So take a second to play with the knee. Push the knee out and away. I already feel a stretch there. And then just deepen at your own pace. By the way, these leggings are by a new brand. These leggings in the sports bar, which you can't see. Um, it's called Curves and Combat Boots. I haven't really, this is the first time I've worn them, so I don't know what, if I want to give you a full review yet, but it's a women veteran owned company. They're not paying me to talk about this, so I don't know why I am. You gotta pay me first. No, come all the way down. Um, but I like what they stand for. They're a women veteran owned brand and they're real patriotic and I don't know, it seems cool. So far so good, so I'll let you know if I want to promote them for real. But I kind of like these because I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for transitional workout items because let's be honest, I'm a fitness instructor and I'm a mom, so I live in leggings. I try not to. I try to wear jeans and normal clothes, but I live in workout clothes, so I'm always trying to find things that I could just put a fuzzy sweater on over and some boots and kind of like pass in society as like being dressed. So I like these, they have kind of that leather look. Anyway, that's it for class. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. I hope it felt really good. I've got like the good bar shakes in the best way. So I hope you do too. And I'll see you next time for another workout.